Today, let's get started on making this interactive science card. Isn't it cool? You can move it and see the surprise inside. Now, let's go ahead and get started by drawing your beakers, the containers of your project. Take your paper, fold it in half from the top down. Then, with one piece of paper that's been folded, fold that up. Now, let's use that as the top part of our beaker. Begin by drawing an oval with a smaller oval inside, two straight lines down, and a nice container, whatever size or shape of container that you want. You do not have to make it exactly like mine. Please feel free to make whatever size shape beaker that you prefer. It's totally up to you. Now I like to make some of these lines on the side to make it look like it's more 3D, as well as the line or the oval inside so it looks like it's holding a liquid. Now to make a second one right beside it, begin the same way. Begin with your oval, two straight lines down, and then again, whatever shape you want for your beaker. To make it look like it's holding a liquid, draw another oval inside that shape. Now into the third one. The other thing you might notice is my beakers are pretty close together. So to make one look like it's in front of the other one, you'll only draw part of a beaker because the first one you drew is in front of the other beakers that you're drawing. So you'll notice that part of it is hidden because it's behind the first beaker. Lastly, I'm going to go ahead and add on some designs into my background to make it look like my liquid is about ready to pop. It's about ready to explode. And there's some magical science experiments happening. Now that I've got those three items drawn, let's go ahead and also make it look like there's some bubbles on the inside of my liquid. The potions are brewing. So I'm going to make some circles in different sizes as well as making a little line off to the side to make it look like it's glistening or gleaming or the light is shining on my bubble. Now that I've got the outside, let's draw the inside for the surprise. When you open up your card, you might draw curving or curly lines like I'm doing. You might instead draw zigzag lines if you prefer. There's lots of different lines that you could make to making the opening of your card. Once you've drawn those openings, you might want to make some little lines going off to the outside to make it look like it's got motion or movement. I just love the way this is looking already and it's only in pencil. Let's take a moment now and outline in black. I'll take my Sharpie and I'm going to go over all my pencil lines. Now that I have an idea of what I want to draw and I like what I've drawn in pencil, I'm going over top of all my pencil lines with the black Sharpie. There it is. It's all outlined. Let's move into the last step now, the coloring step. I want you to get out some crayons and maybe some markers. The markers do a nice job outlining or defining what your shape is. Then I colored it with a color. Oh, I forgot I was going to make my potions have some words to make it look more exciting or make it look like it's saying certain things like bam, zing, or pop. There, now that I have those on the inside part of my potions, I like it going back to my coloring. I used a light green to color and now I'm outlining with a darker green crayon just to give it a little more form to make it look more 3D. Let's watch that again. Marker, color with crayon lightly, take a darker crayon and go on the outside to give it more of a three-dimensional form to make it look like it's 3D. Again, outline, lightly color, and then a darker crayon color, or an analogous crayon color, the color that's right next to each other on the color wheel. These already start to look 3D, don't they? Now I'm going to go ahead and start coloring the rest of my project. 
using some of the same ideas that I did with those explosion pieces. When I start coloring my beakers, I'm gonna be doing some of the same methods. Outlining in marker, coloring with crayon, and then using some of that idea of form, making it look 3D by the way that I color. Hope you enjoy watching the rest of the video and the coloring and happy art making. Thanks for joining me today. Have a great day.